It's a bright day, so let me get these on. My name is Ty, a &L RV in Jackson, Tennessee. I want to show you this 2023 Flagstaff 26RB, so rear bath. And this unit, 29 feet, 9 inches, so we're just under 30 feet on a travel trailer with that Flagstaff construction and quality. And we're just over 6,500 pounds on this particular one dry. A lot of extras, a lot of amenities, a lot of things that are perfect for a couple's camper. Ooh, so it is bright, it is bright, which is perfect to look at this Flagstaff 26RB. Look at that front nose. Love how wide these bodies are. They're maximizing that space for you. Fiberglass front cap, automotive glass in the front. Electric stabilization front and back and then upgraded 30 pound tanks so not 20s those are 30s same as having three 20 pound tanks your frame here has a nice amount of clearance but these definitely not set up for off-road per se except that this includes torsion axles so they've dropped the leaf springs out of this you don't have leaf springs on your axles here they're torsion that ride, that tow ability is going to be so much higher than what you normally see. On this one, we've already optioned for the slide toppers to go up over the slides. Keeps all that debris clear. Nice doors and slam latches. A huge storage space. And this is going to be block foam insulated as well as enclosed underneath. Schwintech slide on that front slide. Rack and pinion hydraulic in the back. And again, another shot. Look, no leaf springs underneath. You're going to notice we have frameless windows. Love that that's a touch for all the flag staffs. And then all our connections are at the back roadside corner, including our shower. Which some people are going to say, why did they put the shower right here? Well, see that light? All of our cleanouts. Or here if you have a shower you can wash your hands immediately you can rinse things off that may or may not go 100 percent correct full bumper and full spare nice little upgrade they've done here it's a hard cover you don't have to worry about finding a cover dealing with that backup camera ready walkable roof with the ladder already installed and in led lights are all the way around kind of have to look under but on these flagstaff super lights we have a receiver hitch that should be rated for 300 pounds. So you can do all kinds of stuff extra in the back. It's a single entry on this almost 30 foot. But look how massive that awning is. Running the length, not a lot of things to impede. This unit does come with a griddle. So there is a griddle rail almost immediately in the middle. Again, frameless windows around cooker cover hot water furnace if you want to set up for a TV you have it here because there's also a tabletop that can fit on your rail good to your tires tire pressure monitoring comes with this unit standard installed on the rim speakers above and then our second bypass entry which is actually nice and low doesn't seem like much, but having a big lip there, when you go inside that bypass, things get hung up when you're trying to load and unload. They've kept this simplistic, but at the same time, there's so many little things that are added to this. Even as simple as that back window, just being an extra that you're not gonna see in some other brands or some other floor plans. Okay, so let's get inside this 2023 Flagstaff 26 RB. You're gonna see WS there too. What I like walking into this, since it's a couple's camper, is it's wide open. All the way to the front. It's very easy to pass each other in this walkway. You have theater seating. It absolutely makes sense. Storage above. Boot down that with the removable table and then our kitchen area though it looks like there's not a lot of counter space from this video it's definitely ample for a couple 
They've included that electric fireplace. That's gonna knock the chill, save your propane. Swivel TV there as well, storage above. And then right at the entrance that I passed is a massive amount of storage with a full walk-in closet. You're gonna be able to hang or put anything you need in here, almost to the point of having your fishing rods on the interior. And this can be completely overflow or what I call kickoff. Come in, drop your shoes, and you're good to go. We do have our Bluetooth connection for our slides, lights, etc. All here that can go straight to your phone app. When your roadside comes with anything, Forest River. Three burner stove. This is a stainless split sink, much more like a residential style with our pull down again. But what I was saying about counter space, my hand always uses as a reference, but it's eight inches in depth on my hand. So we're at about, what, five there from the front corner. Past eight inches on our sides. And look how much is behind. So even though it doesn't seem like a lot, since we have this outlet here, you have an air fryer, you're gonna put it back here. You have a steam machine for rice, you're gonna put it back here. Lots of little things you can do like that. And then beyond that, there's an extra rail here where that mounts and gives you another two feet of counter space. So it's not just what you're seeing here, you're getting this plus two feet as needed. And you can hide that under that bed very, very, very easily. Three burner stove, 12 volt fridge. These are nice ones. And this kind of shows you all the extra things you're getting when you get a Flagstaff. They give you your first water filter. You're getting your tire pressure monitoring. You're getting your quick connect and your griddle outside. Lots of little things like that that build up over time. This also has a pre-built lithium swap over on your fuse box. So no more having to upgrade that if you ever decide to go from a lead acid that's usually provided, maybe even a gel from the dealership, over to a lithium battery. So you can take that and upgrade very, very easily. Bennett AC, vaulted roof. If I had that extra hand, I would pound on this ceiling because you can do so in this. We do have solar on top, charge controller from GoPower is there that is bluetooth connectable as well and then with it being a rear bath you get all that width of this unit to maximize how you use this so you do have space around for your vanity you have all the closed space for linens we have an upgraded larger fan we have a glass shower door and surround in our shower Plus the shower miser, everybody knows from Flagstaff. Skylight's in place. I like how this one has that little kick out because you end up with space to actually put things up against each corner of that back wall. Plus the holder at the top that can easily be taken down if you don't need it. We've got a ceramic bowl commode and a soft close lid and a pocket door close everything off but not be in your way whatsoever and this unit does come with a Wi-Fi booster it works like a Wi-Fi router at your home all your connected devices would go to just that booster and you would just link your booster wherever you happen to be to that one Wi-Fi source such as a campground and then you don't have to reconnect every device every single time Makes things a lot simpler. They've kept our heat vents in the floor to a minimum. So you're gonna see some like that black one under the bed. And we have storage under the bed besides the drawers in our wardrobe that was on that small slide outside. And this wardrobe is gonna be the full depth of that slide. And then this can be broken up as needed. So if you don't need that full wardrobe space, then you can put other things inside of that. Nice walk around. Look at that front windshield. 
it is a pleated pull down. It's very easy to move that up and down as you're laying there with it being so tinted. And I can attest because I have an e so it's about the same on the front as what this Flagstaff would be. That front windshield is so tinted, if your lights are off on the inside, you cannot see in. Run this video back and look at the front of the video again when I showed that front cap. Second AC is installed. And then back to that tinting. You'll see you cannot see inside this unit. So it's a lot of privacy, but you can still have the windows open. Last thing I want to show you is something to look for in any kind of unit. The things you touch are the things you wear out. And on this one, look how nice and crisp these panels were done. Our craftsmanship here is really, really good. Our fit and finish is really, really nice. It's our first monitoring. When you come into a unit and you look and see how tight your seams are, how tight your top is, how well everything is finished off. Let me try to hit this. Our ceiling is all in place. It's very, very quick to tell fit and finish with things like this. You're going to find that everything is caulked. And yes, this is a counter, right? They also caulk inside these closets. So all their panels, they want to be completely finished and have that finished look. I mean, everything is tight. Everything's done. The only things that are really screwed together are the things they expect you to be able to unscrew easily down the road. That's why I love a Flagstaff product. Just gives you that nice quality feel. Okay, so the sun went behind a cloud this morning. So we've gone through this guy. All these extra little things that kind of go unseen. Now the sun's going to poke back out. That front fiberglass front cap with the automotive tinted windshield. Gives you privacy but still light. Gives you a lot more open space. Our huge awning on this side with LEDs. Our griddle that comes with electric stabilization, oversized propane tanks. Our insulated package in general and the construction quality inside and out, how tight that finish is, it all adds up. It's one reason I like Flagstaff and one reason why everybody seems to love Flagstaff and they really go for that. When these come in to us, almost no cleanup is really needed, just a little bit maybe in the floor. We don't see these a lot for repairs and when we do, it's usually pretty drastic. You're gonna t they take a lot of beating. so. Let me know what you think on a Flagstaff and this 26 rear bath as well. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.